Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the Amazon dump. So Amazon right now is having its Black Friday sale. And then of course on Cyber Monday, it'll have its Cyber Monday sale. Now the Amazon deals are far better than anything you can imagine online. They are lower than distributor prices, which means they're lower, lower than alpha investment. Alpha investment essentially is... At $89 a box, that is distributor price. Now, he does charge you $10 for, I assume, shipping or something like that. But uh, overall, uh, the Amazon dump is, you know, everyone buys it. Game stores, whoever and whatever, they all buy the Amazon dump. And it's quite interesting because you think that, like, I have a distributor. So you would think that my distributor could get lower than Amazon, but simply they cannot uh, my distributor sells at $91 and $93. Now, my booster packs come in blister, so they're slightly unique. But um, they, these prices will be much lower than Alpha Investments. What is next upline? Last sale, they called it the big sale, was Brothers War. I think Brothers War was $80, $82. It was below distributor, easily below distributor with free shipping. Remember um, that uh, they don't charge for shipping. And in my opinion, customer service is a lot better than Alpha Investments because Alpha Investment, customer service is just Rudy. And sometimes he's rude, sometimes he's obnoxious, and sometimes he's not in a good mood. We saw that happen with the sorcery playmats where he simply did not want to deal with it. So he made multiple statements and about if you complain, I'm going to put you in the back of the line. Something that Anthony Farrar has done many 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 times and it's again a you know it's a it is a good indicator when somebody is feeling the pressure of the negativity if you will so could they dump doctor who probably ixlon maybe um they have really low prime I'm here to tell you as a former game store owner the sales on this stuff, I mean, I think they had the Baldur's Gate, which is one of Rudy's favorite sets, for like $60 a box. And that is just, I mean, $60 a box, guys. That is crazy, in my opinion. Um, you're not going to find a price like that anywhere. Maybe it was $70. Regardless, it was really, really, really cheap. And uh, that's kind of the name of the game. Um, the name of the game is truly just dump until you cannot dump anymore and the crazy part was last time the big fall sale i saw a set that i didn't think they had any more of and the set was um the set was a what was it strix haven the set was strix haven and that's crazy to me that that's crazy to me that they still had strix haven i mean how long ago was strix haven right Strix Haven. Strix Haven was, oh, okay, 2021. No, that's D&D. God, man, they just really abused it. Strix Haven Magic Set. 2021 School of, really? Strix Haven was 2021? No way. No way. Did they reprint Strix Haven? What is going on here? School of Mages, Mark Rosewater lead. School of Mages. Is this Harry Potter? Release date, episode one, episode two. Strixhaven School. Okay, so this is another reprint set. Okay. what? Where is the original Strixhaven, for God's sake? Like, where is it? Here? Strixhaven School of Mages. Man, I could have sworn that there was like a Strixhaven set before. So 2021 was the Strixhaven set? Are you kidding me? When was it? When was Strixhaven? Choose Excellence. Da, da, da. They reprint. Oh, here. Here we see. Like, what year was this? What year? Future product. Yeah, I think this is the right one. Um, Who knows? I mean, Magic is such a sh garbage bin that like you honestly... I, I mean, I thought Strixhaven was old. Is it 2021? Really? Okay. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy to me that it was 2021. I have booster packs 
they're older, and I remember playing it a while ago. Maybe it is 2021, but anyway, I saw Streaks Haven, and that's a set that I typically really don't see very often. Uh, and I think that's kind of interesting. The Mystic Archives and stuff to pick it up. Neon Dynasty is quite interesting as well. I guess it was 2021. It just seems like a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah, these dumps are just dumping on every new set, every random set, and they're just not going to stop. And you know who taught them how to do this was Rudy Chan. Right, like people don't remember this. Rudy Chan essentially set him, himself up a little mini Amazon where he would go below the price of the local game store, putting the local game store out of business. I mean, free local game stores in Houston just went out of business. And, you know, many of them are not even their The Black Friday sales are pretty much terrible compared to Amazon. I don't really. So once you once the people, once the customers are looking for the lowest off, then then you're screwed. You're, as a local game store, there's not much you can offer. I'm actually going to try to look and see if there are any good sales. But the Amazon dump is coming. Um, let me know what you guys pick up at the Amazon dump. I think um, there will probably be a lot of really, really good cards to pick up. Uh, really good boxes. I mean, it's, it's like a cheap rip. But if you can get booster packs for $2 or less, I don't really see why not. Uh, in my personal opinion, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. When you when you basically say, hey, let's make it about the lowest price possible, there's always somebody lower than you, even lower than Rudy Chan. And that's the honest to God truth. Is Rudy Chan created a monster, and that monster was bigger, and Amazon said, we can do it better. It's just like what Rudy Chan did to local game stores. He basically had no employees, no overhead, no um, staff, so he basically he made a game store that got distribution prices, and that's what they are, right? And then he buys, like, dead inventory from his Patreon. But regardless, he basically gave everyone online the ability to buy distribution prices through him, right, with a $10 monthly fee. And if you want to pay $100 monthly, you can buy more, right? So he would buy at the distribution price, and then he would pass on, quote, the savings to you. Well, Amazon says, well, we don't buy a distribution price. We buy $20 under. And that's how Amazon's going to put Rudy out of business. They're just going to continue to dump every holiday. Like between uh, Black, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, New Year's, you have four Amazon dumps ready to go. And I bet you they will be a lot cheaper than Alpha Investments has ever sold those cards for. And they'll actually be really cool sets, by the way. Anyway, bye guys.